Call from Land of the Lost here. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on Halo Infinite. Um, well, at least the state of it right now. As of 1 p.m. on November 8th, 2022, which is the day that I'm recording this, uh, the Forge beta is live. The win Well, the winter update is live. But <laughs> the most important aspect of the winter update is by far the Forge beta. Uh... I did get to play it a little bit before I had to leave and come here. Um, it's okay. It's When I first tried to launch it, it didn't work. But I guess that was because it was I had just updated it. It was like 20 minutes in to the update being live. So that's okay. I, I assume that will get better with within a few days anyway. Uh, because <laughs> pretty much everybody's trying to play it right now. Um, all the core gameplay features are there. Every everything that you have come to expect from Forge is there. The editing tools have gotten a massive revamp, and there's a lot more options um, to where you could completely change the map if you wanted to. Um, there's vehicles. There are these things that I found that are really cool called weapon trunks that they just kind of they kind of open and they show a weapon you pick up the weapon and it closes and then it recharges you can see it on the front and it recharges and then it pops back out when when it's ready which I think is really cool and I'm going to try to use that as much as I can but I don't usually make maps but I might with this um depending on how easy it is it sometimes it can get quite intricate but we'll get into that at at another time but there's also, in addition to the Forge beta, there are new maps. There are two new regular maps, Detachment and Argyle. I haven't played on Detachment yet, but I have played on Argyle. And it reminds me of Adrift from Halo 4. Um, but it's a, it's a lot less detailed. Adrift had, like, there was that giant mantis thing. I guess it was a super mantis in the middle of the map. Um, there was... You could see a star, and you could see the engines, and there was lore and everything, but I don't see any lore for this one, and it's it's pretty plain. Um, it is aboard a ship, but I don't know anything more than that. Uh, the only reason I know it's a ship is because out the back you can see space and engines. So, yeah, it's something. I guess the ship's called the Argyle. There's also a new the new 30-tier battle pass, the free 30-tier battle pass. That everybody gets when they update it, no matter what. Um, I don't normally play, like, serious competitive multiplayer, because I'm kind of the, the single-player solo guy. That's why I like Forge so much. Um, there's also a January event called Joint Fire. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'll probably have an update on that in the next few weeks, maybe. The December event is called Winter Contingency 2. I don't know, because Winter Contingency was the first level of Halo Reach. So, I don't know what that entails. Uh, that's very vague. Um, there's a new game mode called uh, Covert One Flag, which shouldn't be the game, game mode that they added, but they did. I'm of the opinion... And so are a lot of other people that they should be working on uh, Infection and Firefight. Those are the two absolutely pivotal game modes that we need that we just don't have. I mean, with, with the release of the Forge beta, I can see modder or well, not modders. Well, I guess modders... I guess modders, now that, they have, now that they have the actual tools, can make their own Infection mode. Which... I'm kind of looking forward to seeing cuz I want to see I want to see what they're capable of but it also kind of frustrates me that that the community is the one that has to do this that the community is the one that has to supplement the game with what we actually want it doesn't make any sense well it does make sense but it's I don't want it to make sense that's the thing and here's the big one, well, the one that's only slightly less big than the Forge beta, is the match XP system. They're finally actually putting in an XP system, but it's in beta, which is 
absolutely ludicrous, and I won't get into that right now because it I, I would be here for half an hour trying to explain why that's just asinine what they did at launch with with the only thing being challenges. I mean, that's that's okay with Halo Wars 2. That was okay with Halo Wars 2 because you, there was really nothing to unlock in Halo Wars 2 except for Blitz Packs, which people would play Blitz for half an hour, 45 minutes, and then they would get bored, which happened to me too. It was just... It was boring. And then I got Awakening the Nightmare, and play. I played Terminus Firefight for a while, but that that even that gets boring after a while. Oh! Co-op campaign is finally here. They ditched split screen. That was that was a controversial thing they did a while ago. Before this, they ditched uh, split screen entirely. So now it's just network. So now you can't you can't play on the same console and play the same campaign. Uh, with this, they also added mission replay, which I think is cool. I'm actually gonna test that out when I leave here. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Really, just a short little update and. Uh, Hope you all are doing well, and like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.